Welcome to Coyote News and good morning Montpelier. I'm By Joden and I'm here with Hank Orman. Due to our recent budget increase, we actually have been able to increase our like our just the content's quality. Give an example. Welcome to Coyote News and good morning Montpelier. I'm but <laughs> Joe by no by Joden. You're by Joden. Is this live? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's fine. I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. But how do you feel about being in certain imminent danger constantly? Are y'all gonna attack me? Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> no. Okay. You probably shouldn't um, have said that. Just keep going. It's fine. <laughs> we, they can cut it. They can cut it. That was intriguing. Next up, an inside look at our new releases. Over to me at the studio. But first, a commercial break. Coyote News will be right back after this ad break. Welcome back. Thank um, you. So what was your creative process when creating the movie? The network came to us and was like, we need to make a new Shrek. You know, the uh, script had been out there for a while, but Shrek had a character arc, and we were like, like yeah, that had been done sense. before. It's kind of a cliche thing by yeah, now. Yeah. From square one, we looked at what made the wow. movie special. Wow. Shrek's pure sex appeal. It's like the gruesomeness of those like mm. fight scenes. Like, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, what do you think the demographic for Shrek movies is? Evil Dead and like stuff like that. I think that's really like what the Shrek mm -hmm. demographic is that we've been trying to appeal to. Just through my own research, yeah. Shrek demographic seems to be like children, you know? I don't know about no. that. Well, you clearly haven't watched the movies. I said that. That was interesting to say the least. Personally, I think the host was very attractive. This morning, we are going to take a look at our on-street correspondent, uh, eccentric billionaire, Dashiell Blumen. Over to you, Dash. Are you rolling? My name, in here. Weather person. My name, no, my name is Rich. Excuse me, weather person. Can we interview you? Um, I'm so sorry, but um, right now, the weather is decent. Um, ah. It's not going to stay that way, and we need it to be good in order for it to be horrible. But haven't you heard? Weather people all over the world have been disappearing. That wasn't me. I don't know where you heard it was me, but it was not me. Hmm. Are you sure? End the question. End the question. End the question. <laughs> <laughs> Run, he's gone mad. Have you heard? iPhones are exploding all across the nation. How do you feel about that? Um, that would be a good thing for the nation. We use our iPhones far too much. You think that's uh, accurate? You know what's ironic here is that somebody who sees this is probably going to see it on their iPhone. <laughs> Maybe I should rethink my career. Be good. Ooh. That guy tried to fist bump me and I literally gave him a high five. Uh, excuse me, do you have a moment to be interviewed? About what? About how hard it is to carry a box. <laughs> is that really the question? You read you rolling? You yeah. rolling? Excuse me there. If you're not in a hurry, could we interview you? No. Okay, you heard it now, folks. No. Could we interview you if I if you have a moment? I actually do, I'm sorry. Excuse me there, do you have some time to speak? No, I don't. Aww. Sorry. But one question we, for both we, of you. Can you both ready. really sternly say no? no? If any whales are listening or watching, do not do not eat no. them. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, why do you think people don't like to be asked questions in interviews? They don't like to think about themselves too much. I honestly despise my voice, so I can understand that. <laughs> yeah. Look closely on TV. You might see yourself. Maybe. Thanks, Dash. That was very entertaining. I see here uh, on the screen that you uh, had some rough patches. In yes, your, uh, I got interview. flipped off by a pedestrian. I knew that person's mother, and I will fib. Lucia, if you're watching this, I will tell your mother. Wow. That's what we call revenge. So I wanted to know, what was it like going on the street and interviewing people. A lot of the people I asked uh, went along with it quite well and uh, gave very mysterious answers. Answers you would probably expect from someone possessed by a demon or a ghost. Wow, wow. And I heard you mention ghosts, but we'll have to wait for later for that one. 
as you can see around us, a devastating storm spawned within the mouth of Satan himself is devastating our town, tearing up buildings, torrential rains hit this morning, and it absolutely wiped out my entire property. Okay, can we cut there? Yeah, that was really good. You're so cool. Hello. Uh, welcome back. Rich, I think some of the viewers might have been a bit confused about exactly what you meant. Uh, torrential downpours? I saw nothing of the sort. I think we should cut back to you. This, this weather is horrible and it's ravaging our homeland. The rain is pounding down even now, after all of these days, just crashing down, destroying everything. I worry what it means for the worldwide economy, to be completely honest. I would advise against believing Rich. I do not know what he's talking about. And I think I'm going to go and take a walk to clear my head. Yeah, so that's all today, folks. Well, that was some disturbing footage. I hope Cliff's okay. So here we have Rich Ard to talk. Hello, thanks for um, It really seemed like nice weather. What was, what was that experience like? I think to the untrained eye, it may have seemed that way. However, uh, open your eyes, then you can see fire like coming down. You I said the untrained eye. Uh, where'd you go to school to become a meteorologist? High school. Thanks for coming in. For um, it's in. been very eye-opening. We're gonna move on, go, go to me again with some more new releases. Welcome back. Today I am here with the writer of Donkey, a pain in the <laughs> This movie was actually a big hit in the box office, but yeah, it yeah, got yeah, yeah. horrible reviews, actually. I, um, think ho I think horrible's a strong word. It got like 7% on Rotten Tomatoes. Better than the last one. That's true. Yeah. Um, still not good. 50 years. It's been 50 years. You know, I'm out. You're I'm 23. Done. I'm done. You're 23. I'm, it's all out. I'm, you know, I'm just, I quit. This isn't I your quit job. this show. I, I quit. Up. I'm sorry. I, guys, I just, I really, I gotta, I, I gotta go. I, We're not paying, okay. I can't. You can, I mean, you can leave. You're, you're our only guest. Sorry, folks, that got a little bit intense. Let's move on to some spooky local stories. Over to our local ghost expert, Ghost Ghost Man, who is definitely not me, and the full news team as they investigate local paranormal activity. First, we're just walking around asking people some questions about these sightings. Here we have a civilian. Sir, 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 how do you feel about a ghost? Oh yeah, there's ghosts here, all right. Actually, I did notice this thing over here. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you want to see this. The building's floating. What? This was never here before. Came out a couple years ago, saw this corner floating, and uh, I don't so know God. I don't know how you take a 30-ton building and get it up in the air without a ghost, but uh, I, I don't know. You see this area right here? That is floating. That is a ghost. That cannot be natural. That is no hole. That is a floating building, everybody. A floating building. This must be some supernatural things going on. We're doing a ghost hunting, and we'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Yeah, sure. I don't sure. Well, I'll refer to the story, because this story was pr printed a couple years ago, but her name mm. was Anna. Anyway, Anna. A ghost, yes. Mm. Cool name. In 1897, Anna, born mm. Carrie Anna Wheeler in East Montpelier, oh. was a 17-year-old woman who had plans to meet her fiance, Jack Wheeler, and hmm. she caught the 8.30 train to Barry for Decoration Day festivities. This woman shot Anna and then herself using a 32 caliber Goodness. revolver. Wow, that was uh, that was bloodier than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes, oh goodness, I'm starting to rethink this. I am just a child. I fear existence itself. Looking. Oh, sh there's the ghost. Guys, come on, go. The ghost. The ghost is here. As you can see, you probably can't see. And I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. What is it like being a ghost? It's pretty cool. I never thought of that. I never thought how interesting it could be being a ghost. What do you do with your time when you're alone up here? I like flicker lights. It's awesome. Now that is creepy. 
And how have you possessed anyone? Uh, no, I haven't really thought about it, but I could. You know. I'd rather you not. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to another spooky episode of, of Spooky Stories with Ghost Ghost Man. See you next time. Now that was spooky. Sadly, that's all the time we have for today, folks. I'm Hank Orman. And I'm By Joden. We can't wait to see you next time. Cliff, is that you? Wait. Cliff. It's coming. <laughs> Cliff, what happened? <laughs>